In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the library in Periscope and see how it works and how you can utilize it to its full potential. One of the best things about the library is that you can save either an individual viewlet or an entire tab, and this can be accessed by other users without needing any additional configuration. Let's take a look and see how it's used. First, we want to save a viewlet to our library. If you click on the menu icon at the top left corner of one of the viewlets, we're presented with a series of options. Let's scroll down and select Save to Library. Once we click it, we will get a Save to Library prompt. We can use the default view name or change it to whatever we would like. We can also enter a description of what the viewlet does. This can make it easier to find a specific viewlet if we have several saved viewlets in our library to choose from. After we save the viewlet, Periscope will let us know it was saved successfully. Now if you had several viewlets you wanted to save and they were all on the same tab, it might be easier just to save the entire tab to your library. This can be done just as easily as saving an individual viewlet. First make sure that the tab you'd like to save is currently open. Then go up to the Periscope menu on the top right. Scroll down and click Save Tab to Library. This prompt will ask you for a name and a description just like the viewlet did. Enter a name and description if you like and hit OK. Once done, Periscope will tell you it has been saved. Now that we have saved a viewlet and a tab, how can we access them? Simply click on the plus button next to the tab names at the top and select the library radio button. Now we can select from our list either tabs or viewlets and can add them back into our dashboard or more likely another user's dashboard. We can also edit the name or description of each as well as delete them. Note only the user who created the viewlet or tab can delete it unless that user is a super user. Let's select our saved viewlet and hit OK. We now have an identical viewlet as the one we just saved. If we had selected the Save tab, we would have another tab on the top menu that would have all of the viewlets configured just like this. Libraries can be very useful for not only sharing between users, but if you also have a viewlet or tab that you don't frequently monitor, you can simply save them to the library for later and delete the tab or viewlet to free up dashboard space. Thanks for watching.